So are we supposed to start the podcast? Welcome to IHIP News, where we are bringing you some breaking news today. And this isn't breaking news in the sense of time. Right. It's breaking news in the sense that this is going to break your intellect <laughs> and your heart because it is very disturbing and alarming news. And before we go further, I want to tell everybody to hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. Some people in the comment section told me we need to be saying that. Right. So subscribe to our channel. But pumps today, we're going to, going to discuss purity balls. I don't even know what that is. A purity ball. It is a dance where a father <laughs> takes their daughters, typically from the age 12 to 18, but some daughters go as young as seven or eight. The girls sign a contract and pledge to their father that they will not defile their sexual purity. A ceremony is performed where the father puts a purity ring on his daughter's ring finger mm. that is supposed to stay there until her husband replaces it. I've taken the luxury of providing you some photographs from the purity balls. Please direct your attention to the fuckery above here. Look at these freaks. Okay. I'm just so creeped out by this. I mean, I'm so creeped out that you're that involved in your daughter's sex life, first of all. There, as you can see, the girls are dressed like Brian in a wedding dress. If my father, when I'm at this age, came up and wanted to hug me from behind like that for a photograph, that is so creepy. It's so creepy. Uh, there's more. Oh. Look at this one with the oil well. So not only is he a capitalist, he's also quasi marrying his daughter. I mean, that's just so weird. It's so gross. It's so bizarre. These are full engagement photos. Yes, they are complete. So what they do is they put the oh, ring, here. they put the ring on their daughter's finger, ring finger, and it's supposed to stay there till they marry their husband, which basically that symbolizes ownership. 100% that I was just going to say, your dad owns you and your body until another man owns you and your body. It's fucking fucked up. So here's the deal. There are freaks everywhere, everywhere, especially in the United States of America. Religious freaks are abundant. For sure. Here's my problem with the purity balls. There's a guy named Mike Johnson. And you might say, who is Mike Johnson? Well, NBC News did a poll on it. 43% of Americans have no idea who he is. 14% view him positively. 23% view him negatively. And 20% are neutral. Here's what's so alarming about this. Mike Johnson is the Speaker of the House of the United States of America, and he is third in line to be President of the United States. That's so scary. He is a Bible thumper, extraordinaire, cult leader, freak show to the biggest extreme you could ever have. And the Republicans are constantly showing us who they are. By electing freak shows, Mike Johnson took his daughter, Seth, if you'll get to the next one. Oh, Here's wow. Mike Johnson with his 13-year-old daughter. At her purity ball. At her purity ball. Oh. NBC I... News, ABC News did a segment, and it shows him nodding along as his daughter says the following. I vow to make a commitment to God, myself, my family, my friends, my future husband, and my future children to a lifetime of purity, including sexual purity. She did this on television where there were video cameras recording it at 13 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. This guy's wife, who is a total nut, is shown in the film as saying that they don't even discuss contraception with their daughter mm -mm. because premarital Premarital sex is completely out of the question. <laughs> so this was done for a German documentary, okay? And ever since he won Speaker of the House, all of a sudden this video has disappeared from the internet, which is why we have to keep this story alive. Absolutely. Because Republicans are constantly showing everybody who they are. Right. They showed us who they were with the abortion issue. 
And now what happened? They overturned Roe. And now you've got these handmaids, you know, like this is Mr. Waterford from The Handmaid Tale, who is third in line. And as you pointed out in another episode, he received uh, unanimous support Mm -hmm. for his speakership from the all members of the Republican uh, House. Nobody objected. And this gets even worse. So he um, he and his son have an accountability pact where they got this software called Covenant Eyes. And he, he and his teenage sons have this on their devices so they can catch each other if they ever view pornography. And the Speaker of the House of the United States of America has what's called a covenant marriage, which makes divorce very difficult. And he tried to make this into law in his state of Louisiana. And he even says that God told him that he is Moses (laughs) chosen (laughs) to pull Republicans together. So many things. Covenant eyes is actually what uh, the... Duggers. Duggers, Duggers used, used to monitor their predator son. It, and that was so effective that he's in federal prison over it. Here's the deal. Number one, they spend a lot of time making sex. Like if I was one of their kids and they're talking about how evil sex was all the time, the first thing I would do when I walked out the door is want to have sex. I mean, they make it so taboo when it's really just not that well, taboo. Here, here's the problem. The chattel part. When you don't discuss this with your children, like the wife says, it's not even open for discussion. You leave these kids vulnerable to predators. I'm mortified by these purity balls. Let me read you a quote from a guy named Dan who attended. He's a purity ball attendee, and this was on a website. It's called abstinence.net, and it, aka the Abstinence Clearinghouse. And they, they put on these balls around the United States of America. <laughs> This is not satire, what I'm about to read to you. Okay, this is who the Speaker of the House, these are his pals that he attends these purity balls with. This dad says, every dad just wants what is best for his little girl. And every little girl is just touched to know that someone cares and is walking with her through life's journeys. I've been no shining example, but I've experienced God's forgiveness, mercy, and grace. And he still chose me chose to use me in the role of father to demonstrate the love of the father to my daughter. My greatest enjoyment of the purity ball was holding my little girl's hands and looking into her eyes while we spoke words of commitment to one another. She was living in that moment and truly valued that night. There was no distraction. She wasn't focused on other people or what they thought. The honesty of her heart is a healing balm to me. She is her father's joy. My biggest takeaway was witnessing the love of Christ in her eyes. She knows I'm not perfect and loves me anyway. We tore up the dance floor together and we came home even closer than when we left. It's fucking gross. What the fuck is in his background? What that he's fuck? already he's already covering here. And that's so weird. They're looking at each other. It sounds like a seduction routine. It's it, this is Ugh, I it just gave me the chills all over. I mean, these people here's the deal. We have got to have a secular nation. Absolutely. And we're appointing these nuts like Mike Johnson, he gets elected. And then the Republicans are showing us this is who we want to be our leader. This is the best of the best of us. And this is the shit. He hangs out with this guy who looks into his daughter's eyes and her signing her away, you know, her purity to him is a healing balm while they stare in each other's eyes and tear the dance floor up. This is fucking sick. It's it's total handmaid's and, tale. And here's the deal. Every like con- every accusation of these people, if you look deep into it, it's like a Freudian confession. Absolutely. I guarantee all these people are QAnoners. For sure. These are the people that think about child sex all, all the, the time. time. It's right. it's really 
so bizarre. But what really pains me for these little girls is this is nothing short of child abuse. It is totally abusive to tell take your daughter's autonomy away Absolutely. and tell her what she's feeling in her body that when you get hormones, that it's normal to be attracted to other people and for the parents to take control of that autonomy. The only conversations that parents should be having with their children about sex is consent, you know, what's appropriate at appropriate, appropriate ages. Like if you're nine or 10, if somebody touches you, that's not appropriate. It always, if somebody says, keep a secret, don't, don't keep, keep the secret, secret, tell. Um, but you should mainly once they are of age to have sex, you know, in high school, which was probably pretty normal, you talk to them about consent and pregnancy prevention. Right. Those are the issues that you talk to them about. All of these politicians like Sarah Palin, Lauren Boebert, they do all this abstinence only shit. And guess what? Their grandma's before they're 40. Well, for sure, because abstinent doesn't work. If it worked, none of us would be sitting here, but it doesn't work. I think what's so alarming is for this guy, that's the most important thing yes. for his daughter. It's not be a good person. Um, it's not explore life as it comes to you. It Get an is, education. Don't defile yourself sexually in the way they frame it, that that it would be defiling herself when we are genetically encoded to breed. It is a part of our DNA to perpetuate the species. And these religious nuts come in, and that's the one thing that they try to control. And this is something that Abrahamic religions do. They have taken this thing, virginity, and, and they've it. made it this huge thing. And it all centers around women, which leads women, you know, prey to predators and, you know, the forbidden fruit and all of this stuff. And it's such a crazy thing because what these kids go what they do to avoid having vaginal intercourse it's is far kinkier, far kinkier than the actual intercourse. I just find it disgusting. Number one, that they're treated like chattel. Number two, that they're ingrained that if they were to have sex and have feelings of sex of a sexual nature, like every teenager and hormonal person would do, that they're it's shameful and that they're wrong. I feel so sad about that. And I also think when you said we have to have a secular education, like they don't want any kind of other religion dictating to them, but they want to dictate to everybody else in the United States. And it makes me insane. This guy, the more you dive into this, He's Mike Johnson, crazier he gets. This purity ball shit with his daughter is covenant marriage is nuts. The covenant marriage, monitoring your teenage son's internet use, and then in turn, him monitoring yours is such a weird level of sexual enmeshment. That's what I was going to say. I mean, they're talking about sex on a level that most people are just not talking about sex. It's so utterly insane. It's so utterly insane. I've had it with Mike Johnson. I've had it with Mike Johnson. And the fact that 43% of Americans do not know who this guy is, and he is showing us daily who he is. He is a hardcore Bible thumper who gets his worldview from the Bible. He this guy, Moses. this guy thinks he's Moses, <laughs> has conversations with God, thinks the earth is 6,000 years old, and he is third in charge in the United States of America. And I don't understand why more people are not freaking the fuck out right. it, about it's, this. It's alarming. It's panic mode. They move it slowly. They like do. the abortion thing. They keep just injecting it, injecting. When I first watched the first season of Handmaid Tale, I was like, God, that's so far fetched. Absolutely. I did too. And now it's like, that's us. They've got a handmaid on the Supreme Court now. Right. Amy Coney Barrett. Right. Total handmaid. Handmaid third line. This is the speaker of the House. This, the Republican Party is mainstreaming this right now, right. They act like just like they did the abortion issue. And now women in our state have less rights than we did when we were younger right. girls in this state. And they are coming for it. And they want a, they want to merge religion and um, government 
together. It's as clear. Oh, it absolutely mm-hmm. is clear. As long as it's Christian. As long as it's Christian religion. Fundamentalist Christian. Fundamentalist Christian. Yeah. Right. Everything else they don't give a shit about. It's just what they think. Well, this has been our breaking news. And as I mentioned, it was going to be news that would break all logic in your brain. It does break. I mean, the the purity ball. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. It's just too much. Mm -hmm. People sitting around thinking about shit like this. It's weird. All right. That will be all for our breaking news. Please subscribe, like, do all the stuff you're supposed to do. Subscribe. Bye. I've had it with.